Qualify is an open source platform as a service that enables you to self-host applications, databases, and services without managing servers. It's a self-hostable alternative to Iroku, Netlify, Vercel, and even Laravel Forge. In this video, I will show you how to deploy Laravel applications with Qualify. I have already installed and set up Qualify on my server, which I won't cover in this video. However, setting up Qualify is pretty straightforward as they provide a simple script to run. For demonstration, I have put together a small Laravel application, which you can find at github.com slash mesolabs slash Laravel Qualify if you would like to follow along. This is the application we will deploy using Qualify. The simplest way to deploy Laravel applications with Qualify is using Nixpax because it requires little or no effort from us. So that is where we will start. We will start by creating a project, which I will call Nixpax, but you can call it whatever you want. Ideally, this will be the name of your project or application. For this video, we will focus on just one environment, which is production, but you can create other environments like staging, depending on your application. Next, we need to add resources to the project we just created. For resources are applications, databases, or services you want within your project. We will create the first resource, which will be for the database. And the application we are working with uses MySQL, so we will create one for MySQL. I'm going to use the default details, but change the name to Laravel Qualify. Then we can start the database. The database is now up and running. Let's create the next resource we need, which will be for the application itself. There are different ways to bring in applications into Qualify. We have the Git-based approach and the Docker-based approach. For now, we'll use the Git-based approach. And since the application we are working with is in a public repository, I'm going to select the public repository option. But if your application is private, you can select either of the private repository options. Then I'll paste in the URL of the repository. Then click on Check Repository. This will fetch the repository details. As we can see, it has selected to use the main branch by default, but we can change this later on. For the build pack, we have different options, but the one we'll use for now is Nix Packs, which has been selected by default. Then here we can also specify a port. So I'm going to change the port to 80. So this is the port the application will run on. Then I'll click to continue. Because I've already linked this domain name with Qualify, that is why this URL has been generated based on that domain name. But if you have not linked your domain name to Qualify, a random domain name will be generated for you, which you can use to access the application. So if you scroll down to the build session, we have different commands for different stages. Because you're using Nixpax, Nixpax will detect that this is a PHP Laravel application. And it's going to use the standard commands for each of these stages. So for the install command, it's going to use composer install. And if it sees a package.json file, it's going to also run npm install. Then for the build command, if it sees a package.json file, it's going to run npm run build. Then for the start command, it's going to run a script, which will, among other things, start nginx. Then lastly, if we scroll down to the pre and post deployment commands, so here we can specify commands that we want to run pre deployment or post deployment. Post deployment is the ideal place for us to run database migrations. So we are going to do php artisan migrate. And because we are on production, I'm going to use the force flag. So I'll scroll back up and save this. Then I'll head over to the environment variables session. And I'll paste in the environment variables. So because we are running on production, the environment variable has been set to production. Then we also set app debugging to false. Again, because we are on production, the app URL will be the URL that was automatically generated, which you can get from here. Then lastly, we need to add in the details of the database we created earlier. I will grab the connection URL. Then head back here. I'll paste it here so that I can reference it. Then I'll update the details accordingly. So this will be the password. And this will be the host. The port is the same. The database is the same. But the user is my SQL. So I can get rid of this and save. Now we can deploy the application.
the deployment is completed and it was successful and it's now executing the post deployment command. If we show the debug log, we can see that it has run the database migrations. Now we can view the application. So there we have it. The application is now live. So this is how to deploy Laravel applications with Qualify using Nix Packs. In addition to being able to run commands pre or post deployments, we can also run one-off commands. For example, if you need to seed your database with some data, with Qualify, you can also do push to deploy. So if you come to the advanced tab, you can enable auto deploy. Then you also have to set up webhooks for this to work. Most applications requires background job processing and task scheduling. The application we are working with sends email verification when users sign up. To undo this, we need to run a queue worker to pick up and process these jobs. With the Nix Packs option, there is no direct way to run the queue worker. A workaround will be to duplicate this application and change the start command to start the queue worker instead. A better approach will be to use Docker Compose. So let's explore how to deploy the same application using Docker Compose. While we can change the build pack to Docker Compose here, but to keep things organized, I'm going to create a new project and I'll call it Docker Compose. Like before, we will add some resources to the project. Now I'm going to use the Docker based approach and I will select Docker Compose. This is where we will add the content of the Docker Compose file. To save us some time, I'm going to paste in the content. But you can find the content of this Docker Compose inside the GitHub repository. So yeah, I have two services, App and Worker. And as you might have guessed, App will be for the main application, while Worker will be to run the queue Worker. They both use the same image, which is this image I created based on the application we are working with. And the image itself is based on the server side up PHP image. Then we define a volume. Then we have some environment variables. Like I said, the image is based on the server side up PHP image, which is optimized for Laravel. And it has the option to run automation for Laravel applications, which is basically a script that runs a couple of things like database migrations, creating symbolic link to the storage directory, and doing some caching, which are meant to optimize Laravel applications. That is configured using this environment variable auto run enabled. We can set it to true if we want it to run the automation or false if we don't. So that is why we have this here. The rest of the environment variables are pretty straightforward. Then for the worker, again, we are using the same image. Then we have the command to start the queue worker. Then we have a volume. And again, we have some environment variables. Like I said, we have two services, one for the main application, then the other for the service worker. But based on your application, you can add other services. For example, you can add another service to run the task scheduler. I will save to proceed. Just as we specified in the composed file, we have two services. So for the app service, I'm going to add a URL to it. Because unlike the git based option, a URL is not automatically generated. I'm going to add a URL I already have configured. So I'm going to save, then add back. Then we need to add the environment variables. And this has been populated based on the environment variables we have inside the Docker Compose file. But I'm going to paste in the field environment variables. Because I want to run those automations I mentioned earlier, I have set auto run enabled to true. Then the app URL is the URL I specified earlier. Then lastly, we need to add in database details. Like before, we are going to create a new database resource. Again, I'm going to use the default, but the name is going to be Laravel Coolify. Then I will save and start the service. With database up and running, I'm going to grab the connection URL. Then head back here and update it accordingly. So the queue connection is set to use database. But if I use something like Redis, you need to specify Redis here and create a Redis service. Same way we did for MySQL. So you instead create a service for Redis and add the connection details here. Then lastly, I have added the configuration details for MailTrap, which is what we'll be using to test mails. So now we can save this. Before we deploy the application, let's head back to the service stack. And I'm going to enable this to connect to preferred network. This is important so that the services created inside the Docker Compose file can connect with the services we created directly on Qualify, that is this database service. Now we can deploy the application.
So the services are now up and running. Now we should be able to view the application. So the application is now live on this URL. Just to be sure that everything is working as expected, I'm going to create an account. So and just as we expect, we have been sent an email verification. And if we check Mailtrap, we should see the email, which is this, which we can click to verify the email address. We can further verify that the queue worker is indeed running by coming to logs. So we have logs for the two services we have running, app and worker. So if I refresh this, we should see the log for the worker. And this is the job the worker just picked up and processed, which is for the account I just created. So this is how to deploy Laravel applications with Qualify using Docker Compose. So there you have it. We have seen the power of Qualify and how to deploy Laravel applications using it. You can learn more about Qualify at qualify.io.